Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome to part 3 of the Wales campaign for Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms. In the previous episode, King Llewellyn the Great took Gloucestershire, and we have made a good start. We've taken Shrewsbury and Gloucester, we have Maedhi besieging Cardiff, and we have Prince David besieging Chester in the north. We're actually going to recruit a unit of Welsh spearmen here as mercenaries, and we're going to get a little bit of a trait here. Mercenary captain, which is good, just in case, because, um, you know, I, I don't trust the English, so it's probably worth doing that. And, of course, Chester, large army coming down, Captain Christopher. Unfortunately, he could reach us this turn with that large army of four, five, six, seven units. And we have four, five, ten altogether, so we should be, well, we should be okay, I suppose. Let's reinforce, keep reinforcing. Got to constantly reinforce the borders in this in this campaign. Oh, look at that cavalry. It's great. Oh, look at this unit. He looks beastly. Effective against armor. Rafelweir. We will take Rafelweir. Get one of you. Because you look very nice indeed. We are building some stuff here. Pembroke could do with an upgrade, maybe. What can we upgrade in Pembroke? Land clearance. Farms for food production. Get that. Let's get some dirt roads as well. Hell yeah. Get, we like those dirt roads, don't we? And I think we're probably okay now. Is my diplomat gone? Well, GP has gone the way up there. That's good. And my spy, of course, can probably go north. Oh, and Captain Loivwin. I think that's how you spell his name. Pronounce his name? I don't know. Anyway, we made a good start. <coughs> oh, pardon me. I can actually get some mercenary crossbowmen and a couple of spearmen here as well. So we'll do that there. And I think that'll be all I'll spend in this turn. So, without further ado, let's click the end turn button. Turn four of the campaign. And we're making a good start indeed. Oh, <coughs> pardon me. My cough is still playing up. Candidate for adoption. King Twell in the Honourable. Set of four. Gurganai. Proven commander, siege expert, and a fair fighter. We'll have you, sir. Welsh uprising continues. And as another. English town falls on the Welsh border. More brave souls join the fight. One mob has formed southwest of Montgomery and another to the east of Carnarvon. Which is excellent for me because that helps me reinforce. Captain Dakin. Sire. Fucking hell yeah, we're going to get you towards Shrewsbury. Yes, sire. And I think we, we will need you in the here, south sire. because look at all those dudes down there. So we're going to head south with you. And we have sire. another dude up here. Continue Captain Thomas, join up with Prince David. Oh, look at that army. Look at those bows. We're going to be decimated. Sire. With those bows, oh my god, this is fantastic work indeed. We're going to recruit more people. And we had the the money boost, I think, because we did the task that gave us four units. Oh, actually, we haven't done it yet. We've got two more until we get that. I, I just went for peasants because they were cheap. The only reason behind that was that, basically. And um, we have four more turns till surrender. We've cut off their supplies. I could just sally out of Gloucester. I think I might do that, actually, with some of my men. Take on Captain Paul. Take on Captain Brian. It would be an honourable way to fight, I think. But we're not honourable men. Sire. A spy doing a good job for me there. Orders, sire. Bring this dude up yes, here. Sire. Head towards Scotland. Up Tomorrow's here somewhere. Journey planned out, sire. Scotland in the north. Scotland in the north. Right. Um, Captain Dakin. Head and they good. Montgomery's got lots of men. Free upkeep as well. Carnarvon's happy enough. Pembroke's happy enough. Oh, Come we on, could attack sir. now, I think. We, shall we are going to attack. Let's Lord. take Chester, guys. <coughs> Pardon me. And an auto resolve gives me another star. Over a thousand versus three hundred. I'm going to auto resolve this because it's about time we auto resolve one. I think. Clear victory. Only lost two hundred seventy four. And we've taken it. We will ransom, of course. And they rejected. Oh my God! How dishonourable of the English they've rejected. And we have taken Chester. Hell yeah! The Welsh uprising continues. Occupy Chester. We want that town for ourselves. Trait increase. Prince David is fair in rule. And can't recruit nothing here. Repair. Need to repair that. And construction. What do we want here? Another tanner maybe. Convert a wooden castle. A little small church. Stuff that gives us money we want. So food production would be useful. Improved trade trade. Increased tradable goods. Grain exchange would be good. We get a grain exchange in here. Straight away, and we'll keep our men here, of course, camped up. 
and we have Welsh militia nearby, which I'll probably spring into Chester at some point to do some covering for me. My Lord. Captain Day can go down here, and then might the four turns still surrender. I could have just attacked now, but I just want to see what happens. I don't think they can actually cross get or get me at this point. I will only address you and if they do, I accept the challenge. So let's look again. Turn. <laughs> I'm evil. I'm evil and I know it. Oh, they blockaded my port, you evil bastards. Scotland, there you are. Nice to see you, Scotland. Our friends in the north. Llewellyn's success continues. Llewellyn has proven himself a worthy adversary for the English as yet another of their settlement falls under the power of the Welsh army. <coughs> <coughs> oh, pardon me. The last of the able-bodied men residing in the Welsh Highlands who have not yet joined the fight have formed into two separate militia forces, one north of Cardiff and the other to the south of Chester. Oh my. Right in, in Chester, we kind of anticipated that. And they had successful missions. We had 500 foreigns delivered to our doorstep. We are losing money, of course, but that will change before long. Do not worry about that, my friends. We have a plan in place. And this army... Oh, look at the size of this army. It's great. We're going to take this fort to cut off their, their way of getting to Cardiff. And then we have another one then. What do you say? North of Chester, south of Chester. We could march you guys into Chester. Yeah, we're going to do that. Gwent Raiders, get your asses in there, man. Get your asses in there. Oh, those, that army's got to go there. Excellent. And then these two can go south. They can go towards Shrewsbury, and this army then meet up there. Oh, look at that, another big army. And of course, I don't want to sit around with this army, so let's, let's go through. Oh, God, I can't, sp I can't speak. Something's going wrong with me. I'm going to take on Captain Paul. Keep on Captain Paul. Spy needs to go south. I think there's a settlement around here somewhere. It is. Shaftesbury. Shaftesbury is going to be shafted in this part. Well, in the future at least. Okay, so this fort uh, army is going to take on Captain Paul. Actually, no, let's just take him on with this army. Your will, sire. Night attack. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, let's do a night attack on them, I think. Let's fight them on the battlefield. King Llewellyn takes up arms in an open field battle for the first time in this campaign. What will be the outcome? Let's find out, guys. It is great to be Welsh. It is great to play in this campaign. Let us start the deployment. And let's get our asses into gear. So we have high ground with trees. Which could be useful, I think. Yes, it will be definitely be useful. Let's get all my spearmen grouped up. And form a very rigid line. Very rigid front line indeed. Bowmen are going to be implanting their stakes at the front. And they're going to be grouped up. All the cab is going to be grouped into one large, big boulder. Um, I don't want to be rigid like this, though. Uh, is there a way I can... Oh, shit, I can't remember how to do this. Uh, oh, yeah, that one. And then we just want you flat, don't we? Do you want you flat or do you want you forward? I'll have you like that. That'll be fine. Bring you up there. And then these two units can do all the firing. Decent position here, I think. Like so. Excellent. This is excellent work. We're going to hit these long bowmen. And they are coming out to attack me, which is very noble of them indeed. We're actually going to halt our advancement and have fire at will on with the fire. Because we like the fire indeed. And my cav can actually drift back slightly, I think. We are a little bit too close to comfort there. And my bow units... They have decent range, and they actually can fire now, which they are doing, on their longbowmen. Oh, and we've taken some of the units out. Oh, this is good. We're going to hit them. Hit them hard. Hit them quick and hit them hard. They actually have the high ground advantage, so we are at a disadvantage in this battle already. But we have some decent units, and they are able to hurt them indeed. Feudal Knights, Cavalry on the left flank, which I spotted. Let's bring my Cavalry actually bring him forward don't need to retreat with them the longbowmen can now retreat back like so Gwent Raiders get raiding Gwent Raiders get raiding
Oh, they have spearmen. We ignore the spearmen and go up the flank. With all my cavalry. Cavalry. Say no, no cavalry. So, Jekute. 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 We're in a decent position there anyway. And their cavalry's all bunched up. I've taken the fight away with my cav. That's good, that's good, that's good. Very nice, spearmen. Get the firing going. You're just doing well, need. Male knight cavalry. Aim for the male knights. We're being flanked. That's not good. We don't care. Put your hands up in the air. Put your hands up in the air. Bowmen can just continue to fight. Great raiders. It's Mary Knight Spearman doing well. Our men are winning the battle. If men are winning the battle. Like this, we will smash the oh, I see opportunity for flanking the maneuver. Flanking maneuver number 44. Get the cavalry in. Got flanked. Oh, we gotta watch out. Shit, I got spears there. Just remember, I got spears. Can't charge there, got spears. Cavalry, get up onto the flank. Take on the male knights instead. I don't mind that they fl flank me like this. That's, that's okay for now. Sometimes a tactical outflank is good by the enemy. That doesn't make sense, but you know what I mean. Oh, we're routing the spear militia. Hell yeah. And their defeat is almost certain. Certainly. Certainly. Doing a good job fighting them back. And we're actually going to... Oh, no. We actually got one of these to hit. Food and lights. They could easily take out my ballista from this position, but... Not taking advantage of this. And we're pushing lots of them back. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. They are routing. Chain route. Chain route is in order. Chain route is in session. Just push up, guys. Let's just charge them all. Come on. Charge them all. Kill the English bastards. Charge. Longbowman, oh, I want to use one of my cavalry to take out the longbowman. Break off and attack. Good tidings. Hell yeah. Enemy, enemy general flees like the coward he, he is. is dead. Press onward and break enemy general, Captain down. Paul is no more. Bye, Paul. Had to be done. Oh my god, my cavalry is going to have to take them out. And then they have spear militia there. And they've actually chased down. Look at that. Let's get my ballista to fire upon the food and lights in the top corner and let's get these units to cha change direction and charge the spear militia which hasn't routed and what do we have left food and lights 10 of them all together Re reforming the shaker let's just charge them they have lost half their men. oh i love using cavalry in this game it's just so effective oh lance is down nice charge incoming oh look at that took him out Assassinated the poor bastard. And they routed, of course. We're going to get loads and loads of kills by my generals now. Just completely decimate the bastards. Oh, they've reformed. You cunts. Spearman, get your asses in gear. Let's break off the, the route. And let's charge. Oh, we don't want to charge spear militia, do we? No, we don't. Not with cavalry. That would be suicidal. Spearman, change direction. Oh, what they've got for it. Oh, they've got my ballista. Let's turn direct, change direction and kill. Charge. We haven't lost this battle. I think we're going to win this battle quite easily, actually. I say quite easily. We could have won it a lot better than what we've done, but I like to make it interesting. <laughs> like to make it interesting. Charge. A little bit of a rally cry. Would be good. Break off and charge. Come on. Battle is in session. And we've routed them off. We've still got our ballistas alive. Our catapults. Lost more than we probably hoped by looks of things. And let's pick up one of these catapults again. Got a long moment of fire. Gonna charge them with all my my units there. Oh we English are, look at this, they've actually charged recharging me again. Thought they would have broken off. That is terrible. Shit. I don't want to lose my catapults. No. Me no one lose catapults. Charge. Shit, I'm going to lose more men than I had hoped by fighting like this. Right, let's uh, use my spearmen to try and intercept this feudal knight unit. And my Mennonite spearmen can hopefully save my scythe weird missiles. Save some of them at least. Come on, run. Need to move quicker than this. Meanwhile, on the battlefield, we are routing spear militia. 
Oh yes, the catapults survive. Look at that, it, it, it survived, that's good. And the cavalry just gonna swarm the bastards, look at that. Deadly, deadly cam cat uh, camelry? Cat cavalry? <laughs> Get my words right. End battle. All of oh yes. Will be awed by the victory we have won here today. That was a good victory, guys. Kill lots of them. Still got 333 remaining. The thing is that with Medieval 2 Total War, you keep winning battles and it's quite difficult to replenish your troops. You've got to really think about why you... you look at that ransom value as ransom. They've rejected it. Oh, my God. It's a shame. So Elling can jump back into Gloucester for me. And we've now defeated another English army, so we need to try and replenish, recruit, retrain. We can actually rec retrain a couple of troops. And we can actually recruit some Hellweird as well. Which we're going to do in Gloucester. And of course we've got this nice little fort with other units which can supply my men. My lord. And we're doing do we look, look at that. We're looking very good. But we have a large army here. Uh, <coughs> <I will take> your <coughs> oh, pardon me. Your lives. Anselm of Bapton. Big Bap. Big Bap indeed. Yes, my dog Lord. can push north. Without question, oh, sir. Scotland. Hello, Scotland. How are you? Need to get some trade. Yes, trade with your Scottish bastards. Captain Captain Coward. Mitchell, you're going to be on my list next. I want to try and take Cardiff. Eventually. Six units. Be gone. Plus you three. Oh, let's just fight them, is it? Let's just... Get us battle out of the way. Let's fight Captain Tostig instead. Lift the siege and hit Tostig. Will, sire, yes, I'm sure. Move it away with my lift the siege. Uh, will, sire, lift the siege first. Engage. Then attack Captain well Tostig. 5 to 4 ratio. Fight you on the battle map. Hell yeah. The Glory thing is, they should come in at different names. points of the map. So we can quickly take out the one army and then quickly take out the other, I think. So we will try to do that at least. Hopefully, hopefully we can start deployment. Units, await my orders. Units, await my orders. Right, what we're going to do is group up you two lovely people in the front line, deploy your sticks, and then the spearmen are going to be grouped into a massive big line as well. Start the battle. Where the hell are they? Are they behind me? You sneaky, sneaky bastards. I think you are. In that case, what we're going to do... Who's going to be nearest to me? Yo. Got one. The three. Oh, most of the army's coming from the right. Okay, in that case, it would be wise to turn my position around that way. Get the boards into position and get the cavalry into position. Viva la Francaise! Fight at the French way. On both sides. So I think. I think they've deployed. Yes, look at. Ah, you bastards. You cowards. Look at that. They're just going to sit. I think they just glitched out. They're going to sit behind the, the. The building. The chapel, church. Chapel, I think. Which is quite funny. And then the actual army, I think. Where are they going? Are they going to attack us? Let's have a quick look. They are marching away from us, so. We're actually going to be pushing straight up into their faces. And get the longbows into position. And then get the cavalry into position. And let's fast forward. Fast forward it. I think we can probably go to a normal speed about... About now. Are my bows in range? They are indeed. Well, not quite, but they will be in a few moments. Get fire arrows on. <clears throat> Any time now, here we go. They start the fire. Start the fire, start the fire, start the fire. Oh, baby. Get my general up on that right flank. Oh, look at this fire arrows. Taking hits. Take the hits, you bitch. Cut. Killed a couple of them. Bloody deadly these things are. Absolutely deadly. I was hoping to get the male knights to turn around and actually attack me, but it doesn't appear they are. Let's attack their spears in that case with one of my units while we 
Take out a few more of the cavalry. Hell yeah. Are they just going to be so defensive? It's weird. In that case, let's turn, make, turn a hard flank. I'm actually going to do a hard flank on them. My bow is going to to pepper them. Let my men turn in to face them. I've got one of my scythe here to charge, uh, to charge, to attack them. And look at that, down to 17. That's just unbelievable. Some hard flankings in order indeed. Doing quite well so far. Want to wipe out as many of the men as we can. We're on Welsh soil, of course. We're on Cardiff. We're in Cardiff. This is Cardiff Chapel, I think. Or church. Is it church or chapel? I'm confused. Um, but this is good. This is very good indeed. Doing damage to the male knights. They're eager, but they've lost lots of men. Big trail of dead horses. Die. Down to... 11 with him dead. Just walk up to them. In that case. Get the gen to continue flanking. They're going to meet up with the reinforcements. That's what they're going to do. I think. They might turn around now. They're going to turn around. Excellent. No, they're not. They're going to run away. You cowards. You absolute cowards. How could you? How dare you run away from me? Get my general charge in. Let's get the attention of the cavalry, the mailed knights. Why won't you give me attention? What I'm going to do is try and bait the mailed knights into attacking me. Once I get close enough, the rest of the army should turn around and face my spearmen. That will be the aim. Might not come out. Might not. Might not work quite as I had planned, but we will find out. Rally. Oh, look at that. Lance is down. Impaled. You're dead, boys. You're dead. You're dead, man. You're dead. Oh, yes. He is dead. Right, that worked. And they're not even charging me. Enemy general is dead. Captain Nicholas. One left. All done. We've got a clean charge. And now we can pull out to the left flank instead. Instead? Instead, man. We're going to continue to hit the longbowmen while my men continue to march up. So one unit's taken out cleanly without lo any losses. I haven't lost a single man yet. And we've got a lot. Look at that ammunition. Lots and lots of it. These units are deadly. Anybody that's thinking of playing a Wales campaign, get as many of these scythe weird missile troops as you can. They're just super, super deadly. The amount of damage they do is unbelievable. They are picking up the pace. They are marching. But they're going to be tiring now because of that. And look at this. They've... <laughs> They're camping on the ditch. I think they, are they retreating. I got a feeling they're retreating. They, just, they don't want to fight me, do they? I don't want to charge them directly because they have spearmen. But they're being really, really cowardly in the way they're fighting this battle. It's quite funny, really. Fast forward. Change direction. Easy kills here for the spearmen. Change direction, cavalry. Here we go, we've got the one spear militia unit attracted to Wales. My Welshman. Pepper them with flaming arrows. They're shaken, they've caught in a trap. As the dude says in Star Wars, it's a trap! <laughs> and they've reformed by the looks of things, which is good. I want to fight them, of course. If I can split the longbowmen up, that'll be great. Oh, and they're out there. Look at that, they're gone. Didn't even want to fight me, they're just gone. Completely gone. You can now attack the longbowmen. They have two units of longbowmen. Oh my god, I can see, I got an even better idea. Let's use the cavalry to attack the longbowmen. Well, the rest of my scythe weird can attack the men that are coming up we are spraying them with lots and lots of death at the moment which is even better of course let's just march slowly forward we're going to trap them on this hill my cavalry is actually going to take up a position on the left flank left flank for the cavalry as we pepper the enemy with death of course what do they have all together they have longbow spear spear Longbow, spear, 
longbow. They have three units of longbow, I think. Yes, they do. Even better. Even better. Gonna take up a position just behind them. Try and get them out of range. Excellent. Oops, wrong button. I think we are... Yes, we're going to push forward now. Armoured sergeants. Let's go for a full-on charge. My bows can attack their spearmen. And my cavalry now, I think, can probably go for a charge. I've got to be careful of the spear militia at the back. They're pushing forward with the armoured sergeants, as expected. Longbowmen are screwed. Right, this is good. They are shaken. Defeat is almost a certainty. I think defeat is a certainty for them. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Oh, if I can get to the back. Right, I'm going to send my general right through to the flank. The spearmen there, but I, I think I can rout them by the time they, they accept the kind of challenge. I'm going to get my longbowmen to charge the spear militia, which I think is shaken. Cavalry's getting ready to attack the longbowmen. Men must charge. Cavalry must charge. Kill them all. There we go. Lovely. Doing damage. Done a good job here. Haven't lost too many men. My general's going to get lots and lots of kills. There we go. Done it. Hell yeah. It's time to press the attack. General doing a good job. Kill them, longbowmen. The enemy general Continue battle. He flees the field of battle. The kill them all. Pass forward. I want to kill them all, or kill as many as I can at least. This unit's going to get away, I think. It's fine. Not a problem for me. Oh yes. General, did a good job. Well, he lost two men in the, in the general's unit, which is good. Don't know if we can get to the spearmen over here in time. Oh, we might do. Oh, we will do, I think. There we go, so let's bring the camera forward. Get some more kills. Get the spear militia. Don't know if we can quite get to this far, the this part of the battlefield, but it's worth a go. Where's the border to? Oh, they're over the border. We won't get there. Maybe I'll just kill these guys instead then. Kill them off completely. Get as many kills as we can. Excellent. I think I'll do, so we'll exit the battle. Really quick battle, yes. This clear victory. Clear victory. Only victory lost 48. To only men of great virtue. Excellent. And that was a good battle indeed. So, prisoners captured, we're going to ransom them, of course. And they rejected it again. Holy crap. Trade increase. Promising commander. And we will attack Cardiff. And we will, of course, take it now. They don't have much left. And that will be a nice, easy victory for us. So there we are, guys. I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.